Okay, today I've got my aircraft boxed up in its little travel trailer. And today we're going to do some fabric testing, some Dacron testing, using a Quicksilver fabric tester kit. The reason I'm doing this is because the last time I flew, I landed. And as I was cleaning off my wing, I noticed that there was a hole in the leading edge of my wing. So here's my wing inside the travel trailer. The root of the wing is that way. The wing tip is this way. And you can see part of the rip right here. Now, after I saw that, I, I, I was thinking, it surprised me at first. I was like, where did that rip come from? Um, I thought maybe I had hit a bird, but I didn't remember any impacts during the flight. The flight was particularly turbulent. a nice little twister. Woo! Holy shit. Saw 600 on the VSI. But I couldn't think of a reason why it should have that gouge in the leading edge like that. I thought maybe in the middle of the night someone came up and like squeezed the, the, the leading edge of my wing just to like, oh cool, look at this, pow, and then broke it or something. I couldn't imagine that it happened in flight. So I walked over here to the, to the tip of the wing and I thought, well, I'll just push on the wing right here. You know, because it's an outer tip, it's not really that critical. I'll just push and I'll see if I can poke my, my, my finger through it. And as I pushed, I didn't push very hard at all. I didn't use hardly any force. And I pushed right about here. Or maybe it was right here. And as I, I, I didn't, I used about as much force as you'd, as you'd use maybe to pick up like a two liter, not much, and boom, it ripped right here. And I was like, what the hell? And I just ripped it again a little bit. But right on the seam, which is a critical area, it just ripped. And you can see how. <laughs> it's not good. This, this Dacron probably needs to be replaced. Okay, so we picked up this this tester right here, it's actually just a belt tester for testing belts, and we picked it up from AirTech Incorporated. The important thing is that they included this specific item right here, which is made specifically for Dacron for Quicksilver fabric, and you're supposed to put the end of this on here, and then that's how you test the fab fabrics by pushing that point against it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this grommet, this rubber grommet, to the edge right there. And then I'm going to press down on this. Now this thing is marked as it comes uh, in pounds and also kilograms. We're going to calibrate it really quick and make sure that we're seeing 10 pounds. So first of all we hit tear and we're going to push down until we see 10 pounds. There we go. 7, 8, 9, and just a little bit more. 10 right there. Okay, so that pushed the grommet to that position. And as you can see, it's not exactly on the 10 pound mark, it's actually before. So if I would've used that 10 pound mark to line my grommet up, I would've been pushing with more than 10 pounds of pressure. So right there, that's about 10 pounds worth of pressure. Okay, so we're gonna leave that right there. Okay, we put the tip on there at the end. And it's time to go out there and test. Now there's some instructions that this thing comes with, including spots that you're supposed to test on the wing. For example, back at the trailing edge of the wing, within six to 10 inches, inches of the, the very trailing edge. So no closer than six and no further away than 10 inches on that trailing edge. And they also say to go a couple panels out. It says things like don't test on the tip panels, and it also says for a double wing surface, 10 pounds, and for a single surface tail, 10 pounds, and then also if you have a single surface wing, that'd be 12 pounds. And that's what it's supposed to test to. That's the minimum test value standards. Now there's a couple things that they say. First of all, any testing should be done in a non-critical area. Do not test the outboard tip panels on double surface wing covers. All testing must be conducted on the top surface only. And it says, in a continuous movement, continuous, in other words, don't start and stop, but continuous movement, 
at right angles to the fabric, so 90 degree angle straight on. Push with significant force to telescope the small shaft into the large shaft to the predetermined value. If the adapter does not punch through the fabric at the predetermined value, the fabric has passed the test at that particular location. A punch through indicates the fabric strength is not adequate for safe flight. It is recommended the aircraft be grounded until replacement cover is installed. So we got her set to 10 pounds and I've marked an area that's exactly 8 inches from the trailing edge. So that way it's in between 6 and 10. So this point right here, I kind of wet my finger and I marked it, but right there, that's where we're doing the test. And there's nothing to do except just go ahead and test it. So I just refit this thing to make sure it was all the way on there, it's as far as it'll go. All right, here we go. This test will determine whether I've got to spend $1,500 or not. Your angle. Oh! <laughs> and there it is. Now I was watching this thing and it didn't even reach that grommet. You know, it actually popped before that grommet. So this right here is absolute proof that this wing fabric so I definitely need to replace this. What I'm going to do, this is, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Okay, for this test, I've got the instrument all set up, and I'm going to try to get this uh, slow motion so you can see what it looks like. In order to do this so you can see it, I'm actually going to move this grommet out of the way because I know this thing's going to bust before 10 pounds. I just know it is because I just did the first one. And so we're just going to move the grommet out of the way, and we're going to get a reading on what it actually looks like in slow motion. Okay, so here we go, ready? Whoa. So this fabric definitely needs to be replaced. Definitely bad. <laughs> Just to just to give you an idea where I did this test at. So this is the root of the wing. This is the trailing edge. That's actually the aileron up there, full length aileron. So we did a test one, well, this is half a panel. Uh, this, is, this is the center panel. And then one, two, this one punched through. And this one over here punched through. And I've already measured these. This From this distance to here is about eight inches and they recommend doing it between six and 10 inches. They also recommend staying away from the wing ribs. So that's why I did it right in the center. So this fabric definitely needs to be replaced. This will kill you. What makes this so insidious is, this is the scary thing, is that this rip happened on my leading edge and all it takes, I'm just going to kind of show you, this plane flies through the air at 55, 60 miles an hour and if the wind would have caught this in, in a such a way, where it began ripping. This thing can start shredding. And look at that. Boom. If that would have happened in flight, if it would have carried over this way, it could have ripped off two panels on my wing and just shredded it just like a piece of... Just like ripping open an envelope when you get something in the mail. And I would have lost all this all this wing area and my aileron my, my ailerons probably could not have countered that kind of force in other words one wing would have kept lifting and the other wing would have lifted less and I would have gone into a spiral all the way in and crashed I'm definitely gonna replace my uh, the, the fabric on the Dacron on my tail feathers here that's all gonna get replaced no matter what because the fabric is getting kind of dingy from exhaust and so just for fun we're gonna do a punch down test over here and I expect this surface to also fail the test. So we're about eh, about six, eight inches away. And turn this so I can see it. And I go perpendicular and here we go. Ready? Okay, it failed just at about nine pounds it looked like. Just before, see how, see how this grommet did not move at all. So if this grommet had moved, that would have told me I was applying more than 10 pounds of force. So I know this thing, it punched through at just before 10. It actually held up a little bit stronger than the wing. It seemed like this had another pound or so to go before it punched through. But still, why replace just the wings? I'm also replacing the tail feather fabric also.